So if um, men who are suffering from baldness were to have their blood levels checked, could do you think they would see a higher than normal level of prolactin in their blood? Although we didn't well, need to talk about the levels of prolactin as far as the yeah, labs are it, concerned. It for sure wouldn't be likely to be higher than normal on the current lab standards for normal because uh, they've increased the upper edge uh, probably because of so much exposure of the population to estrogens, uh, mm -hmm. which estrogen increases the production of prolactin. And estrogen itself terminates the uh, growth of hair. So, But didn't you say that in, when they did actual studies for prolactin or pituitary tumors or prolact uh, tumors in which prolactin was elevated, they found like an ideal range for a female and a male? Maybe we can discuss those? Yeah, yeah. Uh, back in the 70s, after the um, wave of pituitary tumors resulting from the high estrogen birth control pills, uh, they found that the, the healthy range for women on the standard uh, scale of units was around 12, uh, somewhere maybe as high as 15, and for men was about 4 to 7. And uh, they've now range, uh, raised the upper limit uh, for men to, sometimes they say it's as high as 20 and for women as high as 30. But uh, all the men I've talked to who had close to 20, even though they were said to uh, be normal, they all had uh, developing breasts, mm -hmm. gynecomastia. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they obviously had, at, at 20, it was might have been within the normal range that that laboratory Stated, but if they're developing breasts, then they obviously have far too much prolactin for a man to have. Yeah, and uh, fertility is best when a, a man has uh, four to seven 